an accidental leader is someone who really had no intention of stepping into that role. But because there was a need and an opportunity, they started doing that work. And before they knew it, everyone was looking to them for leadership. To develop yourself as an accidental leader, there are really about six road steps or guidelines that I have identified. The first is to be open to accepting the call. You know, so many times some people are afraid of failure and they don't want to step into that role. They won't speak up when they see that something needs to be solved and they have the answer because they're afraid of judgment. They're afraid of being wrong. They're afraid of success sometimes. You need to study the problems that you have at work, that you have in your community, that are within your business. Study those problems and, and be knowledgeable about the landscape so that when you speak, when you write, when you provide input, you can provide it with uh, knowledge and information and not just your opinion. Third, learn from others. What are they doing and how can you take what they're doing and utilize it within your organization or within your community? Now, the fourth step is to get a coach. Coaches are wonderful because they help you to refine your gift. They help you to lay out your steps and follow those steps and keep you on track with what you're supposed to be doing and also motivate you. The next step is write your vision. I am a big proponent of vision boards. If you don't write your vision, you're not clear about what it is that you want and where you want to be and what you want your life to look like and the impact that you want to make. And last but not least, get yourself a, a set of accountability partners. Those are individuals who are going to hold you accountable. They're going to make sure that you stay on task and that you remain accountable 